Hey everybody, welcome to the Break Free Vlog Blog. I'm Zach Sloan. I'm Ann Luna. Welcome. And we're here to talk about the past year. We are, because we're coming up, well it is, it's the one year anniversary yeah. of our becoming full-time musicians and leaving our day jobs. So um, what better time to check in and see how things are going. Yeah, and uh, I'm going to steal what Ann did. I, full disclosure, I messed up the intro, so we had to do it over. But now I'm going to, and Ann did this really cool thing, so now I'm going to do it. Thanks to everybody who's been following our vlogs and our videos. Uh, <laughs> it really is nice every time we get a, subs a new subscriber to the channel or a new e newsletter sign up. You guys have been fantastic. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty wild to think that there are people that we may not even know personally who are just like following this journey. Right. So that's awesome. So yeah, thank you. Keep the comments coming and um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think comments are my favorite thing when somebody just chimes in because we haven't had any like idiots who are saying horrible things. Like it's been a lot of positive, like people asking questions and offering like constructive feedback and it's really cool. Yeah. So we appreciate you. So yeah. Thanks. I think kind of on that note, man, we, we can't do what we do without, support from you know people come to shows people right. subscribing and keeping up with us and buying music or you know th there's a lot that it takes to to keep a musician running <laughs> well that's really true and like one of the things that's been really nice at least from from like my half like from where i'm sitting here in colorado is that it's really cool to see our audiences cross-pollinating where people who like my music <laughs> You know, they see I do this with you. They're like, oh, I really like the Hard Road Trio. I'm really excited to hear some of Ann's solo stuff. And I've had some people sign up for my email list. And it's like, I don't know that many people in Fort Sumner. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> Should we talk about the past year, Ann? I think we should. Because I, I know, you know, I'm curious. <laughs> Even though I've been here for the past year. <laughs> and that we've been talking for the past year. Because we check in every week. Because we're accountability yeah. buddies as well as doing this. Um, so in the video we made a year ago, we had asked the question, what does the success want to have? Like, what is it that, okay, what are you trying to do here? Mm -hmm. So I happen to have taken some notes. <laughs> and Luna, always prepared. This is why you beat me at science fair. <laughs> That's right. So Zach, you, do you want to start with you or? Sure. I mean, I would generally say alphabetical order, but whatever, we can go in reverse. Yeah, we can go backwards for today. All right, so you said you would like to be making all of your money from things you enjoy doing, and whether that's producing others, writing songs, live shows, teaching lessons, um, et cetera. So how, how has this gone? How's, how's your success for you? Has your, has your measurement of success changed over the year? Yes, what I should have said is make enough to live on. Because I am currently making all my money from those things. They're, I just need to make more. Which, <laughs> you know, which, is, which is fine though. Like, yeah, just tweaking the words a little yeah. bit. <laughs> but it's, you know, as we, as we talk about a lot, like it's a business. And so for the first year, most businesses don't do as well. And so it's been interesting to even see that as I'm doing, you know, doing this new job of mine to see that, oh, I really enjoy producing people. The vast majority of the people I, I work with, I, I love working with them. It's the scheduling that it just drives me up the wall. <laughs> because like we've talked about, not only is there my, my calendar to consider, there's the client, there's also my wife's schedule if things are going on because of my studio is in my home. Um, and so it's like those nitty gritty things I hate doing. I actually really enjoy working with the people. Uh, right. You know, right. it's like those things, but it makes me feel like such a, uh, uh, such a stereotypical musician. Like, I just want to make the music, man. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to do the business. I just want to make music. And that's like, it's called the music business, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's so, yeah. So I would like to, I would like to continue to earn more, but even as I share, do the music business thing and I'm tracking my monthly income, it's going up. I just need to figure out how to make it go faster. That's right. The, that's the deal. Awesome. So, yeah. yeah. No, and I think that's, I think that's success, you know? 
Well, yeah. I think the fact that I'm a year. Yeah, how do you measure that? Well, I'm a, I'm a year, even like, and you pointed this out because you, you just told me before we started recording. Um, <laughs> that in the first video, I said, even if I fall on my face, I'm okay with that. You did. Uh, I have this quote from Zach Sloan. If I fall on my face, that will be fine. <laughs> and the fact that I've made it a year and not like completely given up, like, because in all, in all candor, yeah. I've, I've looked at it and there have been some, some parts of practicing law I actually have missed. Like I still mm -hmm. get emails and phone calls from former clients, like the, the children I used to represent who are now oftentimes adults. And it's like, man, I kind of missed that. And I would actually like to start incorporating more of that back into my life. So I think that's great clarity. And I think that's it too is so, I mean, this will be our follow-up question. Uh, several things there is like, yeah, the challenges that you faced as well as, as Okay, so you've made it a year. What are you wanting to do mm -hmm. coming year? Um, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's an interesting thing, right? But it's also cool that I, I now realize I may have had more clarity a year ago than I realized. I said I wanted to make money doing things I enjoy. Right. And it's funny because I, like, I, I do enjoy doing some of those things in law. So it's like I don't feel like that's giving up. I feel like that's just understanding what I want to do. Yeah, exactly. I think that's honoring yourself, which is yeah. awesome. You know? So, yeah. So right now, I'm still long out and we'll see what that looks like. But now, Anne, I've blathered on about my year. I think you've yeah. had a very exciting year because it's been fun to watch what you've done. So, uh, so I took about, notes, notes on myself year. and looking at what was the success I wanted to have a year ago. And uh, in the video, I try to get out of answering this question, but this is the <laughs> vague answer that I give. As I said, I want to live a creative life and invest in my craft as a songwriter and musician and travel being a big part of that. Um, and so, yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm doing that in a big way and looking at, yeah, in this past year, um, I've committed, I guess really in the past few months, kind of this, uh, there for a while I was cranking out two songs a week. Now I'm back to one song a week, but I'm still doing that. So mm -hmm. I do feel like I'm really I'm making the time to invest in my craft as a songwriter. I'm learning a new instrument. I've picked up an octave mandolin and really loving it. And, um, just, yeah, I see that I'm making time for music because I, yeah, I've carved out this time. So that's really cool. And I'm excited about that. Um, kind of related, related to that, because as you're saying, it is the music business. I've had to, <laughs> had to learn how to be self-employed, you know, and learning how to do my taxes and do gross receipts tax. And that's been one of the challenges, but I'm doing it and, you know, and so that's going well. And, um, I've got a website up and running, so that's awesome and I'm feeling good about that and um my my financial goal I had a very modest financial goal it's kind of like what can I make to scrape by mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and I've done well on that and what I've also looked at because I get a little discouraged too sometimes thinking oh man I need income to come in faster and more of it but I look at this past year I've had some big expenses that I don't normally have. I bought a new computer. I got a new car, I'm getting a new roof. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, there's, um, it's like, yeah, that won't happen every year. So that's kind of a, mm -hmm. that, that was good for me looking at that. Um, and you got through it. Like you and had I got big, through it. And you were and, okay. And I was okay. And um, I still, I make the, the biggest chunk of my money from, um, from teaching at camps and private lessons and performing, but a kind of an unexpected thing that happened this past year is I um, have been helping out my dad and my brother in their uh, piano business. And so I've been tuning pianos. And so that's kind of my, my supplemental income that's also helped. And just, you know, cause you're looking at how to be an entrepreneur mm -hmm. in the music business. And sometimes that involves doing other things that are, related or not. And I like what you're saying too, is like, and looking at things you enjoy, you know, right. Cause I think that's really, why else did we do this? You know? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so, and I, I found that that's been a, 
it's been a really cool thing for me, the learning to tune pianos, not only because it's, uh, helps me out with my income, but it is something I enjoy and I meet cool people and it's kind of my Zen practice for, for any of you out there who have tuned pianos. It's a really tedious process. So it just makes me sit down and focus. And it's, it's been a cool thing that I had no idea I'd be doing a year ago. So, yeah. Yeah, when you first told me you were tuning pianos, I was like, I didn't know you knew how to do that. And you were just like, like, I'm learning as I go. (laughs) (laughs) But isn't that how everything we've done is like? Right. And so, exactly. And so I think kind of following up on the like, what are the challenges that we've faced this year? You know, yeah, being being your own boss. Um, but exactly, everything you are taking on, you know, in life, you're not born knowing how to do that. Or, you know, and it's this continual growth thing. And so I think for me, a lot of it is this mental game of being okay, being a beginner and not knowing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and I think one thing that I've, as you were talking, I had a little bit of clarity hit me is that, um, sometimes as a new business owner, I don't think I appreciate the fact that like, we all have to learn these things. It only feels weird to me or maybe to you too, because for the past, you know, however many years since I've had jobs, I've had like, I knew what my deliverables were in order right. to keep my job. And now it's like, I don't know, what do I do? And yeah. But there was a time before all that where I had to figure all that crap out on my own. It's just getting back in that mindset. Yeah, I agree. And, you know, kind of uh, dusting off or developing that skill. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, and so I was kind of laughing the other day, too. And I was was kind of, you know, I was looking at my bank account and be like, oh, no, I don't have enough money. And they'd be like, yeah, because you have these checks you need to deposit because you don't have automatic deposit anymore. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, it's, so it's just like, like little things that's like, no, you're fine. It's just, you get to do that now. <laughs> I did that last night. I was up working late on ordering my new, my, the copies of my new record.